Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amory from Supreme Guru Tech and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Reminders app on your iPhone. So if you're not quite sure on how to use it and how to use it to the best of your ability, something that's going to work better for you in getting organized, then stay tuned to this video. <laughs> So what we're going to do is open up our Reminders app and as you can see here, this is basically what it looks like. So we'll run through what you see on the screen here. We've got the Today section which is basically a reminder that is happening today. But what I've also done with this is I have scheduled this for today which will also show in the Scheduled section. I know that might sound a bit confusing, but you will see as we go on throughout this video how that works. And then, as you can see here, there is a section for all my reminders. So I have got a shopping list reminder and a housework list reminder. So that will show under the all category. And then down in the list section, I've created a few different lists for housework work, payments and shopping list and I like the way that this layout shows, it's quite simplistic and you can also colour code it just to make it stand out a bit more. So whenever you are finished with a reminder, the only thing you need to do is tap on the little circle icon and that will basically tell your iPhone that that reminder has been done. So as you can see there that also removes from the scheduled section. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit on new reminder and we're going to pop that back in again and I'm just going to show you what way that works. So I'm going to put in for the title cut the grass and I can put in notes front garden and then we can click on details here which allows us to select the date. So whenever we select the date, it then puts it into the scheduled section because we are assigning a date to it. Now you can also set a time to it. That I'm not gonna do, but I'm just gonna show you there that you can tap on the time and adjust that to whatever you want. So let's just turn that back off again. You can also get it to repeat daily weekly, fortnightly, and so on. So just select whatever the sections are. Maybe it's for a birthday, you could put yearly. So you can see how this can be super beneficial. Then another great thing that you can do is add a location. Now, I don't need to add a location to this particular one, but I did need to add a location to my shopping list, which I will show you in a second. So. Now we have the priority listing. So as I said, you've got low, medium and high. This is low priority. It doesn't really need done today. I can miss it if needs be. So there you can see that that is added back in. Now my shopping list, as you can see, if we tap in here, I do have a location connected to this. So what we're gonna do is take this one out and give it a second and it'll automatically disappear from your shopping list. Now from here I can add in a new reminder from the actual list. So I can tap in bread and hit the I button and then what we're going to do is select location and we're going to go for custom location and I'm going to type in Tesco and it will find the nearest Tesco to me. Now what I can also do on this map is I can select if I'm arriving at Tesco, then I can get a notification for that particular reminder. Or if I'm leaving Tesco, then I can also get a reminder. So this will be beneficial if maybe you are driving home from work, you can put it in your work location, jump into your car, and as soon as you're leaving work, then you can get that notification of having to pick up bread. So you can also adjust the distance of where you want to be notified when you are near this particular shop. So I'm going to bring that in a little further. And if I'm in this vicinity, then I will get a notification to grab bread. So we're going to come back out of there. Again, priority, I'm just going to put low. 
it's not a major priority for me and we're going to hit the done button and as you can see now that has been added in to the shopping list so you can see how this would be really beneficial once you get it set up and start using it to put in all your birthday reminders all your payment reminders of what payments need to basically be paid and that's how easy it is to use i did forget to mention that there is a search bar here so i could type in bread and that could bring me straight to my list once you start putting in more and more reminders in there that search function might come in handy for you and then you can hit the edit button and we can basically chop and change the layout so if we maybe wanted scheduled to be at the top here we could bring that down there and we could bring all up to the top and you can also select the order of your reminder lists just by dragging and dropping so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do want to see more videos like this then why not subscribe to my channel you guys have been watching and listening to Amory from supreme guru tech peace